Trump Legal News Brief Judge Engeron explains why Trump doesn't get a jury in New York fraud trial Judge Arthur Engeron explains in court why Trump isn't entitled to a jury trial in his $250 million New York civil lawsuit. And a lawyer for right-wing media personality Alex Jones says the notorious conspiracy theorist will plead the fifth if he is forced to testify in the Georgia election interference case. Judge clarifies why Trump did not get a jury trial key players. Judge Arthur Engeron, New York Attorney General Letitia James, Trump lawyer Alina Habba. Time equals 400 ms, greater than why it matters. Trump's lawyers have appealed Engeron's rulings, sought to have him recuse himself, and have unsuccessfully tried to delay the trial and have it dismissed outright. Whatever the judge's final ruling on penalties, Trump's lawyers are certain to appeal it and could try to challenge Engeron's assertion that a jury trial was not required. Why it matters. Even if Jones pleads the fifth, establishing a conspiracy theorist's ties to Chesbro could make an impression on the jury. Recommended reading Alan Weisselberg, the former CFO of the Trump Organization, testifies that the former president gave false information on bank and insurance forms about the size of his Manhattan penthouse apartment. Lawyers on Jack Smith's team asked the judge in the election interference case to make Trump reveal his defense strategy and seek to keep the identity of jurors secret. Weisselberg concedes Trump inflated size of his Trump Tower penthouse on financial forms key players, former Trump org. Chief Financial Officer Alan Weisselberg, Judge Arthur Engeron, New York Attorney General Letitia James why it matters. Engeron has already ruled Trump is liable for years of financial fraud carried out in New York. In court, James is building her case that that fraud was systemic and calculated. The case will decide the amount of money the defendants will have to pay as punishment, as well as the limits to their ability to conduct future business in the state. Prosecutors ask judge to compel Trump to reveal his defense strategy in January 6th case. Time equals 400 ms, greater than key players. DOJ Special Counsel Jack Smith, Judge Tanya Chutkin, Trump lawyer John Loro why it matters. Loro has indicated several times that Trump will mount a defense that states the former president was guided by the advice of his lawyers when contesting the 2020 election results. Smith is intent on keeping the trial on schedule. Trump has asked the judge to dismiss the case altogether. Smith's team asks judge to keep identity of jurors secret key players. Special Counsel Jack Smith, Judge Tanya Chutkin, Judge Arthur Engeron. Time equals 400 ms, greater than why it matters. In his post attacking Engeron's clerk, Trump posted a picture of her along with false information about her relationship with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to his 6 million followers on Truth Social. Keeping the prospective jurors anonymous in the case would deprive Trump of the opportunity to call their motives into question. Time equals 400 ms, greater than special counsel Jack Smith's team submits a filing saying former President Donald Trump's lawyers used distorted and exaggerated claims in their motion to delay the classified documents trial until after the 2024 election. In Trump's financial fraud civil trial, debate continues to rage over a tax appraiser's valuation of Mar a Lago. Time equals 400 ms, greater than DOJ prosecutors. No reason to delay Trump documents case key players. Special counsel Jack Smith, Judge Aileen Cannon, Trump lawyer Christopher Kyes why it matters. If Cannon grants a delay in the start of the trial, that would free up Trump to continue his presidential campaign rather than sit in court on 32 felony counts of willfully retaining defense information in violation of the Espionage Act and eight counts of obstructing the efforts to recover classified documents. Why it matters. Engeron has already ruled that the defendants are guilty of having inflated their assets. But the punishment in the $250 million suit brought by James will depend on an understanding of the amount Trump benefited from doing so.